I woke up today and I thought it would be fun to create Vlogmas series from now up until the end of the month where I basically make vlogs every single day and share them on a daily basis. A, to bring you closer to my life right now as a full-time traveler and also hold myself accountable to put more fun videos out there for you guys. So this will be day one from the 15th up until the end of the month. Oh, well, it's going to be a lot of work with all the editing on a daily basis and all the traveling but we will make it happen so here's the plan for the day i am right now in this hostel as you can see and i've been in this hostel for about four days right now it's in keswick a town in the lake district region in northern england i've been in england for about four days the reason i decided to make my way up here is because the lake district is a beautiful region but also it's home to the highest peak in England so I climbed that mountain Scafell Pike it was incredibly beautiful and so glad that I made the trip up here and this is the hostel where I've been staying and believe me since I got here I'm the only person not only in the dorm room but I'm 90% sure that I'm probably the only person in the building I haven't seen a single soul and when I checked in it was pitch dark outside i got in the building was all dark and they have an automated check-in process i was so freaked out and i will show you guys the building it feels more like a hospital from the soviet union it was really really creepy and when i got to my bed, I was like oh my gosh i was sleeping up there most of the time not another person i got enough storage i didn't really have to worry much about my stuff which was really nice but every time i hear a movement I am a little bit freaked out but anyway so uh, for now I think I should be checking out so I will do that and I will try to grab something to eat and what I'm doing for today I'm going to be taking the bus and then the train to make my way to London let's go yeah so these are some of the rooms I really like how the rooms are named after the mountains in the area Catbells is also another peak and then look at this uh, long quiet corridors at least right now the lights are are out but when i got here it was so dark and then far into the distance right there you can see some of the uh, showers and even like everything is really old so to turn the light on i will have to pull the handle down like that why is it not working maybe this one yeah not working but anyway so for the lights the showers everything feels really old i was really happy with the hostel because it was a, a pretty affordable i think 20 or 22 dollars a night so that was great it was quite it was clean everything that i needed and then out here is the dining area so you can imagine when i got here it was pretty dark and i had a meal out here it was a little bit freaky there is a tv room but I was here watching some uh, some TV. I watched uh, the game between um, Morocco and France yesterday. It's a bummer that uh, uh, Morocco lost to France 2-0. to zero. But I think overall the Moroccan team did incredibly well this uh, World Cup. And I was so proud of them. So the way it works, I'm telling you there is no person, not even a worker, right? So you do everything on your own. You can uh, heat up some water for you. You can make like drinks for you, for yourself. Uh, they do have all type of uh, cornflakes and stuff. And I really just serve myself because the breakfast is included. So here in their mini fridge, they have some milk, juices, bread, jams, and stuff like that. So you don't really need anybody to be here. So I'm gonna make myself a toast, and I will get going. Have to catch the bus. I don't think I need more than one. Ladies and gentlemen, how you need to toast. Clean some of the dishes.
It's been really cold here in the Lake District. When I was uh, at the peak of the summit, it was minus six uh, degrees Celsius. Problem or the challenge that I've been having is that the gear and the clothes that I have with me, they're just not good enough for this temperature. And I don't wanna just, you know, keep logging heavy, warm gear with me. So I need to get out of England because this cold was bone chilling, to be honest. I am honestly ready to leave. All right, final check. I think we're groovy. Where well, I was actually storing my goods over there. Here's a person. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally somebody. This was my first interaction with a human being in the hostel. <laughs> it actually only happened because I called them the day before and told them that I'm going to extend my stay by one night and that I would pay a checkout so there was a person waiting there for me 45 minutes until my bus is here i'm trying to soak in all of this sun because guess what not that cold i have my hands out ah uh, it's not as cold when the sun is out right uh, beside the hostels oh my gosh this is icy oh there's a creek and it's surrounded by a bunch of hiking trails there's a little bridge that i know towards the city center and the uh, We'll keep on adventuring. Remember all those blooming words. <laughs> but like Webster's Dictionary, we're Morocco bound. Ah. Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a very sweet exchange. I think that he was probably the friendliest Englishman I met on this trip. He was just so very friendly and welcoming and encouraging even the Moroccan team once he, he figured that I'm Moroccan. Ah, I just, I just love that. And he even played some music for me. And apparently there is a beautiful song about Morocco that I wasn't even aware of. I'm gonna have to look it up. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So I am out here in the Penrith train station. So from here, I will be taking the train to make my way to London. And guess what? Trains right now in uh, England, I'm not sure if it's all around the UK, maybe just England, they are on strike. So the, the schedules are a little bit different. And so instead of taking a train that's gonna take me straight to London, like I did on my way here, um, I'm gonna have to make some changes midway. Uh, but I'm just happy that there is actually a train that's gonna take me there because I was thinking that there may not be a train and I have to spend the night here in, uh, in Penrith. But yeah, here's the train station and I cannot wait to make my way back to London. So we were just kicked out of the train in a very random station and uh, it's a bit of a chaos here with a lot of delays, cancellations. Good thing for me, I have nowhere to be so I could wait. I think my next train that's gonna take me to London will be probably here in an hour if it doesn't get cancelled but it's a pretty busy station and a lot of people are not probably very happy with these changes but it is what it is. The train has been stopping quite a lot. Seems like they are facing some signal issues, from what I understood. Um, I don't honestly know what time I will make it to London. And can you believe that I don't even know where I'm spending the night tonight? I have a rough plan as to where I want to go but I don't really have any accommodation planned. And my plan is to actually make my way out of uh, England. So we'll see how that goes. Yes, please, thank you. Oh, just got some, uh, some free water. 
That's kind. Just arrived in Houston, which is uh, the train station here in London. Before we do anything, the first thing is gonna be finding food. I haven't had anything from breakfast, and it's, it's probably 6.30 or around that time. Let's find some food. I literally bought the first thing in front of me. I could eat anything right now. It's a Cornish paste, something that I actually tried before. This is chicken and mushrooms, and I'm really excited to dig in. Just have to find the place here. Maybe I'll sit right here. I'm in my last train station here in London, Northern Greenwich, and oh my gosh, it was so busy. There were a billion of people. And then when I checked on the map, it turned out that right outside of this train station, there's a big complex called the O2, which is basically a big arena for a lot of big concerts. So I bet you so many people were coming to a concert maybe tonight, but it looks really festive from, from outside. So my thoughts earlier coming to London was that I would travel from London to Paris and try the Eurostar. If you're not familiar with the Eurostar, it's basically a high-speed train service that travels from London to France, Belgium, and I believe the Netherlands. And what's really cool about this service a, it's high speed, so the journey from London to Paris is around two hours, two hours, 30 minutes at max, but also it is an underwater train. Yes, there is a section of the journey where the train is going underwater on the channel tunnel for about 20 minutes, I believe. So I was really excited for that. Usually for one way tickets, it's uh, not more than four US dollars one way. Uh, but it's just like flights, you have to book earlier. If you will wait until the day before or last minute, prices will increase significantly. So yesterday when I was looking online, I found tickets for around 195 and I was like, you know what, I can do it. But then today I checked and with all of the train strikes and the delays, I think there was just no more trains available. I found one ticket that was late at night it was priced around 390 or 370 or something like that 370 US dollars I'm like no there's no way I'm doing that so instead of that I am going to be taking the bus from London to make my way to Paris the difference with the bus is that the journey takes about eight hours yes so eight hours overnight I'm leaving here around 11 p.m. and we'll be there around 9 a.m. or so and um, I actually have two hours in the station right here before my train shows up. But at least I'm inside, I feel pretty warm. I did a little bit of stretches earlier, which was really helpful because my back was hurting and I got a bunch of snacks, some of which are seaweed snacks. <laughs> I haven't had seaweed snacks in a very long time. And I don't think I've tried this brand before, Kelly Loves. And then I found some wasabi peas. I'm really excited for these. Just got some water and getting prepared for, for the journey. So on the bus though, um, if, you, if you ever you know, take the bus from London to Paris, um, I think in order for us to cross from London to Paris, we will probably be on a ferry for some point because there is a body of water, there is a channel that needs to be crossed. So I will update you on that and uh, I'm really excited for that part as well. Anyway, so um, I'll just hang out here for a little bit and then we'll catch the bus when it shows up. I couldn't resist not making my way to the center to check it out. <laughs> and uh, I'm really glad I did. Um, I just talked to the security guys after scanning my bag and such, and it turned out it's actually a big shopping center. There are a lot of uh, stores, bars, restaurants, everything that you can imagine. There's a movie theater, and then there's also a big arena for concerts, like I, like I thought, and it, it looks like there is a, a performance tonight, so that's why it was quite busy earlier, but this is really neat. A lot of places are actually closing now. It's a, it's a little bit late, but just making my way up here is absolutely worth it. Plus, <laughs> it's a lot warmer than the, the bus station, that's for sure. That's uh, the arena where they have the show going on. And then up there, it looks like there are a bunch of uh, 
um, outlet shops and brands. I think they're probably closed now, but wow, look at the decor. Pretty neat. Travel updates. So the bus was supposed to leave here at 10, then it was delayed until 11 and then until midnight. And I just stood outside for about 30 minutes waiting in the cold and I feel like I'm just dead now. <laughs> I am so exhausted. So I still have to wait. I'm in the train station. You can see all the people probably coming back from the concert. It's so, so busy. Don't judge, but I'm taking refuge in the photo booth because that's the only place where I can stay warm so yeah I don't know maybe not very ethical but who cares at this point I have my backpacks right there and I'm just gonna wait it's a waiting game this day wow <laughs> way to start with vlogmas this this day turned out to be crazy <laughs> 